It's a delight to be here this evening in Warner Robins, Georgia, for this live recording called A Night of Inspiration, sung by some of the greatest gospel singers in America today. Let's welcome these young men from Bryson City, North Carolina, the inspiration. A 
of wonders, oh, how could it be that God became flesh and was given for me? The Almighty came down and walked among men, the wonder of wonders, he died for my sin. Is he your wonder of wonders tonight? I sure hope that he is. The wonder of wonders as she heard his small cry That his voice had thundered on Mount Sinai The small hand she held so tenderly Had made a dry path through the mighty Red Sea The wonder of wonders, oh how that God became flesh and was given for me. The Almighty came down and walked among men. The wonder of wonders, he died for my sin. One day I got a package with about 28 cassettes in it and it said learn the tenor, baritone, and lead. For some reason he left out the bass, but... <laughs> I, uh, I didn't figure he'd ever really need it. That's the truth and so I, I did. I, Eddie, when he started, he only had to listen to two albums. I had to listen to 28 cassettes. And I tried my best to learn every part, letter perfect. And I did that for six months and they didn't call. I was kind of getting aggravated about it. Finally, I just pushed them aside and said, fine, I'm not practicing anymore. And sure enough, two or three weeks later, Mike calls and leaves me a message that we need you to go on Friday. Eddie's gonna be out with a funeral. And so I said, okay, when are we gonna practice? I was excited then and we'll practice on the bus. We got on the bus, Archie was reading a paper, so, you know, just kind of sitting there, and I'm sitting there looking around, when are we going to practice? Ronnie comes into my room, I'm back there looking through my notes and trying to, he said, forget it. He said, if you haven't got it memorized now, forget it. It's just not going to, it's not going to register now. Yeah. So we were headed out to Kentucky that day, and all this time I'm being promised we're going to practice. We're going to, well, when we get there, we're going to practice. Well, of course... We got there just in time to set up our equipment, go change clothes, pray, and go out on the stage. Never sung the first note with them. We were standing on that side of the stage, and I was getting ready to go up. Mike was right in front of me. And I said, Mike, please, at least just tell me what songs we're going to sing. <laughs> they turned around and smiled at me. I didn't know a Christian could smile that evil. He looked at me, he said, we'll sing whatever Martin plays. <laughs> and we tried, I know that much. It's been the same ever since, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> this is not the end, it's resurrection ground. We gathered together to say our goodbyes to our precious loved one. Oh, how our hearts ached inside. Then we went to the place where they lowered their body down. Some call it a grave. I call it resurrection ground. Resurrection ground. It's resurrection ground. 
Listen to the words of this verse. My brother wrote this song just two hours after burying his little three-year-old daughter. We come here often to see where our child lay. It doesn't seem so long ago she ran around and played. How sweet it would be if we were standing round when this cold grave it turns to resurrection ground resurrection ground no more graves allowed we'll meet them in the air no more party there with jesus we'll be for all this is not the end, it's resurrection ground, resurrection ground, no more graves allowed, we'll meet them in the air, no more party there, with Jesus we'll be for all eternity, this is not the end. It's resurrection ground. This is not the end. It's resurrection ground. Boy, it's good to know the Lord is our Savior and know that we have hope beyond the grave. I'm glad that God always gives a song in the darkest night. My brother watched his little girl go down into the ground. We don't understand things, but God always does what's right. He went home in just two hours after burying that precious little girl. He wrote these words. We come here often to see where our child lay. It doesn't seem so long ago. She ran around and played. How sweet it would be if we were standing round when this cold grave it turns to resurrection ground. Resurrection ground. No more graves allowed. We'll beat them in the air. not the end, it's resurrection ground. This is not the end, it's resurrection ground. My first weekend riding with the Inspirations. I was just riding with them just, just to see how I liked it. You know, Martin said, come on and ride with us. I just want you to ride with us, see how you like it. So our first thing was in Bowling Springs. We was really seeing how we liked you. I know. Archie said when I first started with them, I had a little mustache. He said I looked like a migrant worker. But I think we sang in Bowling Springs the first night. That I, I stood back in the back of the church and I listened to, to Archie and Jack and Matt and Mike sing. And uh, Martin said that night after the singing was over, he said, Now tomorrow night I want you to come up and maybe sing one song with us. I just want you to just, you know, get a feel of the stage and see how you like it singing with us. And so I was ready. I was ready to sing my one song. Well, during the night, Archie got a call. His first granddaughter was being born in Bryson City. So he had a guy come down to Commerce, Georgia and pick him up and take him home. So Martin looked up at me and he said, you're our lead singer tomorrow, boy. So the first time I ever stepped on stage, I sang lead, but you know, the Lord has grace. Because that morning when we sang, we sang for a co-op in Douglas, Georgia, and it was pouring down the rain and we were under a metal building, so you couldn't hear much, so I could make all the mistakes I could. I hope no one would notice 
me said no that you I was there to hear the singing I had better things to do then I heard the invitation and though I tried to keep my seat yes. before I even noticed he had swept me off my feet I hid the aisle running Oh, what's come over me Is this the Holy Spirit Who has come to set me free When I heard that Jesus loved me And the cross was sin's defeat Before I even noticed he has swept me off my feet. This year I celebrate 17 years of knowing him as my personal savior. I'm so glad he swept me off my feet. I know the Lord's returning. He's building me a home. I'll live in a stately mansion on a ray in precious stone. Like the emerald to the jasper, I'll walk on golden streets. I'm waiting for the bridegroom to sweep me off my feet. I'll hit those streets a running just as far as I can see. There's a band of holy angels who are there to welcome me. When I heard that Jesus loved me And the cross was sin's defeat I'm waiting for the bridegroom To sweep me off my feet I'll hit those streets a running Just as far as I can see There's a band of holy angels Who are there to welcome me when I heard that Jesus loved me And the cross was sin's defeat I'm waiting for the bridegroom To sweep me off my feet I'm waiting for the bridegroom To sweep me off my feet I just got to say something. I'm so thankful that I can stand before you tonight and tell you that I know him as my personal Savior. I'm so thankful that he lives and reigns in my life. I met the Lord at an old-fashioned altar way down in South Georgia, a little town called Adrian, Georgia. I met the Lord at a camp meeting one Thursday night as a teenage boy. I'm so thankful that God came into that service because I was just a teenage boy with a black heart, but he poured out that red blood and made me whiter than snow. This is the way it happened that Thursday night. See if you can identify with this. I hope no one would notice me sitting on that pew. I was there to hear just the singing. I had better things to do. Then I heard the invitation. And though I tried to keep my seat before I eat, Notice he had swept me off my feet. I hit the aisle of running. Oh, what's come over me? Is this the Holy Spirit who has come to set me free? When I heard that Jesus loved me and the cross was sin's defeat, before I eat. Notice he has swept me off my feet. I'll hit those streets a running just as far as I can see. There's a band of holy angels who are there to welcome me. When 
When I heard that Jesus loved me and the cross was sin's defeat, I'm waiting for the bridegroom to sweep me off my feet. I'm waiting for the bridegroom to sweep me off my feet.
thousand years have come and gone since God looked down in love. There in the town of Bethlehem a rose began to bud. It lived to bloom until one day was crushed with awful frown. And then in love from God above was moved to higher ground. One day among a world of thorns a rose began to grow. It was the greatest gift of God this world will ever know. It was the will of God to show that since the world was born, there had to be a rose to live and die among the thorns. One day among a world of thorns a rose began to grow. It was the greatest gift of God this world will ever know. It was the will of God to show that since the world was born, there had to be a rose to live and die among the thorns. Are you glad to see Brother Eddie Deets tonight? Amen. I, I got to be good friends with Archie, and he knew I loved to sing, and I'd been called to preach. And uh, I pastored a church over in Crabtree, uh, North Carolina, in 1968, and Martin doesn't even know this, but uh, Archie gave me all the records of the inspirations, and I had a Magnavox, an old Magnavox stereo. And every morning, I would put every one of those records that they had on that stereo, and i just let them drop down. And while I was studying the Bible for a sermon or something, I'd sing the parts, baritone, lead, whatever I thought I might have a chance someday to sing until I learned every song. And uh, one night uh, in 1969, my wife and I were going out to Waynesville to get a hot dog after prayer meeting, and I passed that 4104 coming down through there, and I knew, oh boy, my time has come. And I uh, had the opportunity to join the group, and, and um, now, of course, I pastor a full-time church and have a ministry with my family also. But in my heart, I will always be an inspiration. It's a blessing to be here. No ready to eat. While going through a world of care, His unseen hand will lead us there. I'm trusting to the unseen hand that guides me through this weary land. And sing that story saved by grace. Then while upon that golden strand, I'll praise him for his guiding hand. I'm trusting to the unseen. Some sweet day. 
I'm trusting to the unseen hand that guides me through this weary land and some sweet day I'll reach that strand still guided by the unseen hand This weary land and some sweet day I'll reach that strand still guided by the unseen, the One of the newer members of our group. Yeah. 
He's from South Carolina. Greenville, in fact. South Carolina's known for its peaches He's not a peach. and cotton. <laughs> but we're proud that we got a good singer from South Carolina. A fine young man. Sings a great song. We need to thank God. You glad to see Mr. Matt Dobler this evening. How about for Matt? All right, we need to thank God. From the state of Georgia. In fact, Jackson, Georgia. We call him the soup man, Mr. Campbell. <laughs> Suki. Mr. Melton Campbell tonight. You glad to see Melton? Uh, how long have you been with us, Sonny Boy? Four years. You weren't even born when we started singing with you. What he thought of? Y'all been singing four years before I was even born. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Be glad to have him with us anyway. Next young fellow, they got his name right here. The idiot, 6494, and it's stuck with him ever since, except there have been some changes. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're glad to see old 6494 and no pain. How about for Mr. Michael P. Holcomb? Uh, how about it for our man, my son, man, Mr. Myron Cook, you glad to see Myron tonight. There's a river rolling deep and wide. It's rolling paradise is on the other side. Yes, heaven is waiting. When this old life is over, there are near Forever let your you way grow gently Your 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 choice and tenly some someday and we must cross your fall so long Jordan along O river deep and why my home is on the other side I wanna reach that home Lord so long Jordan someday soon I know I'm going See my Savior on his throne Yes, then I see Jesus I'll be so happy there Never more to roam No, never more to roam Oh, no, 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 To span to reach that mansion in the promised land. So roll on, roll on, Jordan. Roll on, Jordan. Oh, roll on, roll on, my dear river, to that sweet forever land. Someday we must cross your fold So roll on Jordan, roll on Roll on, roll on, roll on, roll on, roll on, roll on And my, my home is on the other side I want to reach that home, Lord So roll on Jordan You're the last old river that I've got to span To reach that mansion in the promised land So roll on, roll on Mr. Marlon Shimmer! Amen. Martin, I don't know if you even remember this when you called me. He, asked, he said, uh, what about coming and going with us to 
down through Mississippi one weekend. And I said, you talking about me or me and the girls? Girls, men in my family that I was singing with. You know, I, I didn't have a clue that he was wanting me to go sing with the inspirations, but he wanted me to go sing with them. You don't know how much that blessed my heart to think that he thought enough of me to ask me to go sing with him. And I appreciate it, and I still do. Now, Ronnie was uh, one of the original boys who, as uh, you know, came up to my home from school, and we started singing every night back in 64. And Ronnie sings a song. Yeah, it was 1964. You look it. All right. <laughs> Uh, and uh, Ronnie sings this song, and I think that those who carry the gospel, especially those who do it for a life career, have to realize the true meaning of this song. And today, I think it's the, it has been the meaning of the inspirations. It's been the desire of the inspirations. And today, it's still the same. And what a, what a world it would be if each, if each person would get up in the morning and just with this thought in his mind and say, Lord, I want to be a blessing to someone today. Feature Mr. Ronnie Hutchins. Thank you for being a blessing to the inspirations tonight. Lord, as the morning sun beams Bring the warmth and light and Drive away the shadows Lingering from night Your love will do the same If we just let it shine through As I go about today There's just one thing I want to do Lord, I want to be a blessing To someone today just a smile perhaps will do to help them on their way to maybe lend a helping hand or a kind word to say lord i want to be a blessing to someone today may i not look so far away that i don't see the hands that are reaching out so close to me and when i lay my head upon my pillow tonight may i have the peace of knowing that what i've tried to do was right lord i want to be a blessing to someone today just a smile perhaps will do to help them on their way to maybe lend a helping hand or a kind word to say lord i want to be a blessing to someone sing it with us lord i want to be a blessing to someone today just a smile perhaps will do to help them on their way to maybe lend a helping hand or one kind word to say lord i want to be a blessing to someone today to maybe lend a helping hand or one kind word to say lord i want to be a blessing to someone today
life should always be fair. We make a mistake when we try to compare. Sure, God is concerned about what we need, but there's more than what's here. There's eternity. The grass is not greener on the other side. Since the Garden of Eden, that's been Satan's lie. We need to confess how much we've been blessed. We need to thank God. We, we need the word and the blood of the lamb a savior who prays a spirit who stays sealing a son to redemption day a heavenly father who cares for our needs provider of all the gifts we receive i don't know about you but friend i believe we need to thank god if you agree with that tonight let me hear you say amen real loud swim in an ocean of gain while the righteous drown in a river of pain and sometimes it seems that God doesn't care that the wicked get wealthy while his people despair but there's an appointment That's that it. all men will keep yeah. those souls without God won't like what they reap when we consider their end and the wages yeah. of sin we need to thank God we need to thank God the word and the blood of the lamb a savior who prays a spirit who stays sealing a son to redemption day a heavenly father who cares for our needs provider of all the gifts we receive i don't know about you but friend i believe we need to thank god we need to thank god for all that we have the cross the word and the blood of the lamb a savior who prays a spirit who stays sealing a son to redemption day a heavenly father who cares for our needs provider of all the gifts we receive i don't know about you but friend i believe we need to thank god i don't know about you but friend i believe we need to thank god You know, it's time in America that we raise our hand and just say, thank you, Lord. We've been so blessed, that's for sure. We think that life should always be fair. We make a mistake when we try to compare. Sure, God is concerned about what we need, but there's more than what's here. There's eternity. The grass is not greener on the other side. Since the Garden of Eden, that's been Satan's lie. We need to confess how much we've been blessed. We need to thank God. We, we need to thank God for all that we have the cross the word and the blood of the lamb a savior who prays a spirit who stays sealing a son to redemption day a heavenly father who cares for our needs provider of all the gifts we receive i don't know about you but friend i believe we need to thank god sing it with us we, we need to thank god for all that we have the cross, the word, and the blood of the Lamb. A Savior who prays, a Spirit who stays, sealing a Son to redemption day. A Heavenly Father who cares for our needs, provider of all the gifts we receive. I don't know about you, but friend, I believe we need to thank God. I don't know about you, but friend, I believe we need to thank God. We need to thank God. We need to thank God. And I just want to thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord, for everything you've done for me. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord, for making me whole, saving my soul. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making the sun to shine, putting the stars 
in the sky for the flowers that bloom, the ocean so blue. Thank you, Lord, for every sparrow that sings and makes sweet melody for the rivers that flow, the rain and the snow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. want to thank you, Lord. Just want to thank you, Lord, for making me whole, saving my soul. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For my whole family, for the joy that my children bring, for shoes on our feet, yeah. plenty to eat. Thank you, Lord, for the church where I worship and pray. I have today for your spirit I feel God's presence so real thank you Lord thank you Lord I just want to thank you Lord just want to thank you Lord for everything you've done for me thank you Lord I just want to thank you Lord I just want to thank you Lord for making me whole saving not stand. Thank you, Lord, for giving your life for me on a cross at Calvary, for taking my place for mercy and grace. Thank you, sweet Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord, for everything you've done for me. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord, for making me whole, saving my soul. Thank you, Lord. Let's sing together tonight. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord, for everything you've done for me. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Matt Dibler and all the inspirations there. Oh, I tell you. God has so blessed us. Amen. We've had such a fine time. The first time we got on the bus, we hadn't seen each other, hadn't been on that bus together in, in years. And about, uh, what was it, January, the last weekend in January, we had two nights of uh, reunion and so we all got on the bus and left out of Bryson City. Have you ever been on a school bus when it let out the last day of school? I have. And I used to have to ride them the last day of school when I was a teacher. They'd have teachers ride the buses. Well, that's the way it was on our bus the whole weekend. And we didn't know what was going to happen next. We, have such a, we get so excited when we get together. And one little fellow, we call him 38 Short. We got six, <laughs> we have 6'4 and 94 <laughs> and us some more and all that. <laughs> and the old time preacher man, Brother Eddie Dietz. But then we have the little 38 Short over here. He's a one man quartet. That's what he does now. And. Uh, I was first acquainted uh, with gospel music when I was in school, just like the boys and, and our school teacher was our pianist and, and manager and what have you. 
And uh, we sang together, uh, three other boys and myself, uh, for about five years. And uh, one, uh, Mr. Cole, that was our teacher's name, he said, boys, he said, I tell you what, we've been singing now for right at five years. And he said, you all don't sound a bit better right now than you did the day we started. And he said, I want to take you down to Chattanooga. That's, that's close to home there. And I was just tickled to, to be able to, to get in the van and go down to Chattanooga. I never had been away from Benton there much. And I'd always, I know Chattanooga is there. I'd always heard of it. But I was, I was glad just to go down there on the trip. I wasn't really expecting anything other than just the thrill of getting to go along. He said, I'm going to take you to Chattanooga to the auditorium to hear a professional group sing. <laughs> and he said, maybe if you listen, he said, maybe y'all can learn a few things uh, by what you hear tonight. Well, I, I didn't know what he meant by a professional group. I didn't, never didn't know they was such a thing as that. <laughs> See why I had to tell him to get in his microphone a while ago, okay. though. <laughs> Archie, old Archie never changes. <laughs> and, but we came in and sat down, and about uh, five rows back, we had reserved seats. And right there, and we wasn't thinking about much, just kids and just happy to be there. But when these men came out, and begin to sing. There was something that happened down on the inside of me, and I can't explain it. To this day, I still don't understand it. But I knew that in order for God's will to come to pass in my life, that one day I'd have to stand up here and sing with these men. I didn't know when it was going to be. I didn't know how it was going to come about. But sure enough, about 10 years later, I took one of my one-man quartet tapes that I'd put together where I sing all the parts. And I put that in a special package for Martin. But I, was a, I didn't just put a tape in there because you see, I thought that'd just get lost in the shuffle. Would have, it would right. have. And it would have. But I put it in a, a little tape recorder and had the tape queued up and put that down in there so that package would feel bulky and fit, just make a man want to look in there and see what's in there. <laughs> and, and then all he had to do was just push the button, and so that's about all I could do. So I guarantee you, somebody else had to push the button first. <laughs> so just out of nothing but curiosity, I knew he'd, that he'd do that, and he did. And he heard me singing all the parts, and I could go on and on about how, the details about how things that came about. But sure enough, about two years later. Well, one evening there, and my mom's here tonight, by the way, she'll testify this. Uh, we was, it was a Christmas night, and I was sitting there at the counter and I be, in the house, and I, I began to cry. And I told her, I said, Mom, I said, I tell you what, I've struggled with this for 10 years. And I said, I'm just about, I, I said, I just can't about go no further. I was ready to quit. And she said, now, son, she said, you know better than any such a thing as that. She said, you know that if God started something with you, that he ain't just going to leave you hanging out there, Amen. but he's going to bring it into completion if you'll just be faithful to him. Right. Well, I'm telling you this. Sure enough, about 30 seconds later, no, not really, the telephone rang, and it was Martin on the other end. And he asked me to come down to, to uh, what's that? Gainesville. Gainesville, Georgia, and audition with a group the very next night. Asked me if I could make it, and I said, "Well, I'll have to look uh, and check." Uh, he did. He didn't even. He didn't know I didn't have no agenda. You met many travelers along the way, both strangers and friends that you've known. 
And often you stop to talk for a while with those you've met on the way. But friend, did you mention the name of the Lord to someone you talk with today? Did you tell someone about Jesus? Did you mention his name to a friend? Did you warn the stranger who's lost and undone that death is the wages of sin? Did you show them the plan of salvation? Did you tell them he's coming again? Did you talk about Jesus or the things of this world? Did you tell someone about him? Some traveler you shall meet today may walk down this pathway no more. For this could be the final mile before his journey's o'er. How sweet it would be to meet him yes, again amen. in heaven some glad day. Yeah. And hear him say, I made it through for you told me about Jesus one day. Did you tell someone about Jesus? Did you mention his name to a friend? Did you warn the stranger who's lost and undone that death is the wages of sin? Did you show them the plan of salvation? Did you tell them he's coming again? Did you talk about Jesus or the things of this world? Did you tell someone about him? Did you tell someone about Jesus? Did you mention his name to a friend? Did you warn the stranger who's lost and undone that death is the wages of sin? Did you show them the plan of salvation? Did you tell them he's coming again? Did you talk about Jesus or the things of this world? Did you tell someone about him? Some traveler you shall meet today may walk down this pathway no more. For this could be the final mile before his journey's o'er. How sweet it would be to meet him again in heaven some glad day. And hear him say, I made it through for you told me about Jesus one day. Did you tell someone about Jesus? Did you mention his name to a friend? Did you warn the stranger who's lost and undone that death is the wages of sin? Did you show them the plan of salvation? Did you tell them he's coming again? Did you talk about Jesus or the things of this world? Did you tell someone about him? Did you tell someone about Jesus? Did you mention his name to a friend? Did you warn the stranger who's lost and undone that death is the wages of sin? Did you show them the plan of salvation? Did you tell them he's coming again? Did you talk about Jesus or the things of this world? Did you tell someone about him? Once I was down in sin's dark prison, no one around could take my blame. I had no hope, no joy for living. Then Jesus came, he broke the chains. He broke the chains. He broke the chains of fear and sorrow. He broke the chains. He broke the chains of sin and shame. He wrote my name. He wrote my name way up in glory. Since Jesus came, he broke the chain, he broke the chain. In the tomb he lay, in such a cold, dark prison, and all the world death seemed to reign. But Mary cried, my Lord is risen, from death he came, he broke the 
chain. He broke the chain. He broke the chains of fear and sorrow. He broke the chain. He broke the chains of sin and shame. He wrote my name. He wrote my name way up in glory. Since Jesus came, since Jesus came, he broke the chains. He broke the chains. He broke the chains of fear and sorrow. He broke the chains. He broke the chains of sin and shame. He wrote my name. He wrote my name way up in glory. Since Jesus came, since Jesus came, he broke the chains. He wrote my name way up in glory. Since Jesus came, he broke the chains. He broke the chains. Run the devil when he's following me. It makes me turn in his face and say it's time to flee. It puts the wind just beneath me, sets my wings on the rise. With that overwhelming joy in my life, I am filled. I am filled to overflowing. overflowing. I've got joy, I've got joy down deep within. The joy of the Lord is my strength in the storm. I've got overwhelming, overwhelming joy in that feeling so blessed. Discouraged from the worries and strife And I reach deep inside To try to turn up the smile Then I detect some excitement In the depths of my soul Then that overwhelming joy starts to flow I am filled I am filled to overflow I've got joy I've got joy I've got joy And deep within And this joy of the Lord Is my strength in the storm I've got overwhelming joy And I'm feeling so blessed I've got overwhelming joy I can bear. I am filled, I am filled to overflow. I've got joy, I've got joy down deep within. And this joy of the Lord is my strength in the storm. I've got overwhelming joy and I'm feeling so blessed. I've got overwhelming joy I can bear. I am filled, I am filled to overflow. To overflow I've got joy, I've got joy. In the storm. I've got overwhelming joy and I'm feeling so blessed. I've got overwhelming joy, I confess. I've got overwhelming joy, I confess. <laughs> Discouraged from the worries and strife And I reach deep inside To try to turn up the smile Then I detect some excitement In the depths of my soul Then that overwhelming joy starts to flow I am filled I am to overflow I've got joy 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 of the Lord is my strength in the storm I've got overwhelming joy And I'm feeling so blessed I've got overwhelming joy I've got overwhelming joy and I'm feeling so blessed. I've got overwhelming joy I can feel. I am filled to overflowing. To overflowing. I've got joy. I've got joy within. down deep within. And this joy of the Lord is my strength in the storm. I've got overwhelming joy and I'm feeling so blessed. I've got overwhelming joy I can feel. Last 
drink in this store. I've got overwhelming joy and I'm feeling so blessed. I've got overwhelming joy, I confess. I've got overwhelming joy, I confess. I on the first half of our book of lessons. Have you really enjoyed them, little Lord? All the inspiration. Oh, what a time we're having here tonight. Amen, amen. That was the first time I ever heard the inspirations. It made an indelible mark in my life that I hadn't forgotten. About three or four months later, they came to Jasper, Georgia, my hometown. They walked out on stage to sing, and little Troy Burns was singing bass. I was 14 years old at the time, and I looked at him. I looked over at my dad, who's always sung bass, and I looked at him, and I looked at dad, and I thought, if he can do it, surely I can. At that moment, I changed what I had planned for my future, and I began to try to learn how to sing bass. I've been here now, and this started on my 31st year, and uh, I've been on one end of the stage, anchored that, and Archie on the other end. I've the anchored that the end, too. The two in the middle have changed quite a bit. Archie and I often say we've wore several out in the middle. And Ronnie said there's a lot of truth in that. But it has been a wonderful time to serve the Lord Jesus in my heart, in my life, to give him everything that I am or ever could be is the only thing that matters to me. If he could go all the way to the cross and die for something as wretched and vile and undone as I am, surely I could let him live in me. God bless you. Now that's for Mr. Mike Colton. Bye. 
it shall be time in heaven. Oh yes, it shall be time. Come ye weary, heavy laden, bruised and mangled by the fall. If you tarry till you're better, you will never come at all. In shouting time in heaven, a sinner once lost is found. In shouting time in heaven, salvation has been brought down. No one of the angels rejoiced to know my sins have been covered by the crimson flow, and now I'm feeling fine. I'm walking in the highway built by love, my name's written down in the courts of love. In shouting time in heaven, oh yes, it's shouting time. It's shouting time in heaven. A sinner once lost is found. It's shouting time in heaven. Salvation has been brought down. No one of the angels rejoices to know my sins have been covered by the crimson flow, and now I'm feeling fine. I'm walking in the highway built by love, my name's written down in the courts of love. It's shouting time in heaven. Oh yes, it's shouting. Come ye weary, heavy laden, bruised and mangled by the fall. If you tarry till you're better, you will never come at all. It's shouting time in heaven, a sinner once lost is found. It's shouting time in heaven, salvation has been brought down. No one of the angels rejoiced to know my sins have been covered by the crimson flow, and now I'm feeling fine. I'm walking on the highway built by love, my name's written down in the courts above. It's shouting time in heaven, oh yes, it's shouting time. It's shouting time in heaven. A sinner once lost is found, it's shouting time in heaven, salvation has been brought down. No one of the angels rejoices to know my sins have been covered by the crimson flow, and now I'm feeling fine. I'm walking in the highway built by love, my name's written down in the courts of love. It's shouting time in heaven, oh yes it's shouting time. Now let's make welcome the old man from the mountain, the old bear hunter himself, Brother Jack Laws. He sings, I cannot find the way alone, Brother Jack. As I journey through this veil of sorrow, the way Seems so strange and unknown. Lord, I need a helping hand to borrow, or I can not find the way. Alone. I can.
Good job, the old bear hunter. Brother Jack Law, the old man in the mouth. Through a strange land I've wandered like a poor little sheep over mountains and rivers and a valley so deep. But I have a good shepherd who patiently leads where the waters are cool. Is there that he tenderly takes care of me? Oh, he takes care of me. Through the darkness I still can see. With tender hands, just like a shepherd, he's always leading me. I've never been hungry, but he did not feed. Not one single need, as he failed to me every day and in every way. He takes care of me. Aren't you glad that through your whole life, God has taken care of you? If he feeds the sparrow, and he knows when they fall, and he cares for the lilies, and his creatures so small, how much more he must love me, for I am his child, for needs great or small, Praise God, he's always come through right on time. Oh, he takes care of me. Through the darkness I still can see. With tender hands, just like a shepherd, he's always leading me. I've never been hungry, but he did not feed. Not one single need has he failed to meet every day. The darkness I still can see with tender hands just like a shepherd he's always leading me I've never been hungry but he did not feed not one single need as he failed to me every day and every way he takes care of me why should I worry why should I doubt he's never failed me no It was at a little front porch sale She stopped to look around She saw those two shoes Sunday slippers A bargain to be found But her husband didn't know the Lord So what good were they to him? But God said, just believe You will receive So she took him at his word stone and she wondered if she'd ever see the day he'd wear those two shoes Sunday slippers and to the church house make his way then it happened on one Sunday morn as she started out the door he said wait for me she turned to see those two shoes walking across the floor A prayer and a promise God would keep To save the soul of the one who wore Those two shoes on his feet She held them as she prayed each day As the tears ran down her cheeks There were two shoes A prayer and a promise God would keep The preacher told came and gave his life to save all 
She saw those two shoes, Sunday slippers, go walking down the aisle. And there were two shoes, a prayer and a promise kept so sweet. God saved the soul of the one who wore those two shoes on his feet. He wore them as he prayed that day, as the tears ran down his face. There were two shoes, a prayer and a sinner saved by grace. There were two shoes, a prayer and a sinner saved by grace. Saved by promised land when Moses said Lord I am nothing God said just trust me the great I am I am thy God Jehovah is anything too hard for me when the waters too high for crossing I'll be there to part the sea when the flames of doubt enfold you I am the fourth man in the fire fear thou not for I with thee, I am your God, you are my child. Isn't it good to know you belong to him? He'll take care of everything you need. Though we walk through fiery trials and though we trot the valley low, there's a refuge for God's children and a place where we can go. Just like Moses, I am helpless by myself. I cannot stand. But then I hear the Savior whisper, just trust in me, the great I am. I am thy God, Jehovah, is anything too hard for me? When the water's too high for crossing, I'll be there to part the sea. When the flames of doubt enfold you, I am the fourth man in the fire. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. I am your God, you are my child. I am the rose of Sharon, I am your strength when you are weak. I am the great physician, the provider of all your needs. The lily in your valley, when storms of life are raging wild. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. I am your God, you are my child. I am your God, your God, you are my child. My child. Well, I promised uh, our Uncle Walter, singing the Smoky Mountain Quartet, promised him that I'd come up to Martin Cook's house a while and sing. He said, uh, we we'll need to go by there first, and and uh, I, well, it didn't matter to me. We 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 all had been singing around home and in church, and uh, some of us been singing in the Bryson City Quartet. You know, we did a oh, we did a big date down to Rotary Club one night. <laughs> one of the guys belonged to the Rotary Club, and uh, we sang down there, and, and uh, I went by Martin's house, and me and Jack and Martin. And another guy was there, and, and uh, my uncle didn't show up. Uh, and uh, that's when you got your that's, that's when I started singing tenor. I'd been singing in the church choir. And Jack's daddy, my uncle Walter, he'd hit. I mean, my uncle Wayne, he'd help me find a part once in a while. I didn't know what I was doing. And Jack didn't know what he was doing. Martin didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> None of us knew what we was doing, but we liked to sing and try and make a joyful noise. And we started singing in 1964. And I was telling 
somebody today. It's always been a ministry to me. It's always been a ministry to us. shall conceive and bring forth a child people still don't believe it today they say it's impossible that it could not happen that a child could get here that way Joseph was not his dad but he knew what they had the night Mary gave birth to a son he had his father's eyes his hands and his heart but they could tell by his blood You could tell by his blood Whose son he was Jesus wasn't just a good man He was God in the flesh To dwell with us Straight from the Father's right hand And if you deny him It's because you've not tried him And been washed in that crimson blood Alpha Omega, the rock of all ages. My friend, you can tell by his blood. With technology today, they can test DNA, and with your blood, they can keep track. They drew his blood on the cross from his hands and his feet. And in three days the results came back The grave couldn't hold him He came back like he told them Death could not keep Jesus down For he was who he said Jesus did not stay dead Then he ascended back to his hometown You could tell by his blood Whose son he was Jesus wasn't just a good man God in the flesh to dwell with us straight from the Father's right hand. And if you deny him, it's because you've not tried him and been washed in that crimson flood. He's Alpha, Alpha Omega, Omega, the rock of all ages. My friend, you can tell by his blood. He's Alpha, Alpha Omega. Omega the rock of all ages my friend you can tell by his blood with technology today they can test DNA and with your blood they can keep track. They drew his blood on the cross from his hands and his feet. And in three days, the results came back. The grave couldn't hold him. He came back like he told them. Death could not keep Jesus down. For he was who he said. Jesus did not stay dead. Then he ascended back to his hometown. You can tell by his blood whose son he was. Jesus wasn't just a good man. He was God in the flesh to dwell with us straight from the Father's right hand. And if you deny him, it's because you've not tried him and been washed in that crimson flood. He's Alpha Omega, the rock of all He's Alpha Omega, the rock of all ages. My friend, you can tell by his We can't question, can we? Amen. Brother Matt sings another song. It's a new song. 
And you know, we've seen many things change in the last years that we've sung, but you know, the message of God has not changed. And uh, this song is called Highway to Heaven, but it really tells a story of an old time preacher man. Let's see, maybe you remember one like this, or maybe you know one today, because let me tell you, God never changes, and the message never changes. And it's called Highway to Heaven. The old preacher man stood there in the pulpit. The church house was empty almost. His eyes filled with tears, his mind filled with memories of not so long ago. When the church house was full, not one pew was empty. The altar was stained with saints' tears. As he stands there this morning and sounds out the warning, once again letting them know there's a heaven to gain. There's a race to be run. You can live as you please, but you must pay the cost. And the highway to heaven still goes by the cross. Amen. Sing it now. Some of his members thought he was old-fashioned unwilling to change with the times so they found other churches more modern day preachers who were willing to let things go by but the old preacher stood for what he believed in and what he had preached for years as he stands there this morning in a near empty church house his opening remarks are these words there's a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. The way is still straight. There's a race to be run. You can live as you please, but you must pay the cost. And the highway to heaven still goes by the cross. a race to be run. You can live as you please, but you must pay the cost. And the highway to heaven still goes by the cross. You can live as you please, but you must pay the cost. And the highway to heaven Never change. We're going to have Roddy to come out here now and Matt, whoever wants to sing on this one, a special song called The Bucket at the Well. She came again today and poured the water from the well. So many times she's come this way before Her pail of yesterday she filled is empty once again Her thirst just keeps her coming back for more Her story is a tragedy, a testament to sin Five times she's broken vows to God above No man could quench the fire of sin that raged within her soul She's drawing water from the well of love. She left her bucket at the well. 
she is no longer thirsting Love sweet story she now tells She'll be drinking here no longer Living water in her swells There's a message in the bucket at the well Do you know that's a true story? It is, straight out of the pages of the Bible Here's another true story His bar stool now is empty where he sat just yesterday oh, yeah. And his drinking friends all wonder if he died He sat there every day for now on 15 years or more To drown the thirsty monster deep inside But, but today, today he met the master who delivered his poor soul And slew the sinful dragon in his breast One sip of living water from the Savior quenched his thirst Soothe his angry soul to gentle rest He left his bucket at the well He is no longer thirsting Love sweet story he now tells He'll be drinking here no longer Living water in his swells There's a message in the bucket at the well Here it is Jesus Christ is satisfies the thirsting soul who to him cries. That's the message in the bucket at the well. There's a message in the bucket at the well. But you know, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a lawyer. I had no desire to sing, had never sung a note in my life except in church. One day Martin came up to me and he was our teacher, believe me. I had him not only for, as a teacher, I had him for home room. <laughs> 39 years later, I'm still here, still got him for home room. It's like being in prison. Yeah, except sometimes in prison you get out. But you if you're a good boy. Oh Lord, I'd never get out then. But you know what, most of all, I'm thankful for? These are Christian men. I'm a Christian, but only because of the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Not because anything that I have done, will do, or could do. I'm here because God loved me enough to send his son to die on Calvary. And if we don't leave another message with you tonight, if you don't take anything else home, if you think we're the ugliest bunch you've ever seen or the prettiest bunch you've ever seen, that doesn't really matter in the course of time. The course of years and in God's plan, what matters is whether or not you know Jesus Christ and the full and free pardon of sin. If you do, you're going to heaven with the inspirations. You're going to sing better than we do. We all get to sing in the heavenly choir. Let's all go home together.
Come on, Chris. to sleep no more. Sleep no more, leaving me 
for a while for that safety up on high. When I wake up, when I wake up to sleep no more. When I wake up, some black morning to sleep no more. She was a dawning, happy I'll be. All her in glory, telling a story with the reading of all the ages. The president of one who I adore. When I wake up to sleep no more. Yes, I'll wake up. Some black morning to sleep no more. Give me 